Okay. So we have the Nine of Wands as the overall energy for this week. This is about perseverance. So with the Nine of Wands, it's about taking time to sort of take stock of what it is you need in order to meet your goal. So gathering your resources in order to push forward to, to success, to the successful completion of your goal. So this could be a project, this could be um, something with a home renovation, or this could be something with a relationship or a relationship goal. Um, this could be financial in nature, meeting a financial goal. Um, this can equate paying off loans or even getting everything together in order to receive a loan. So the Nine of Wands is all about perseverance and not quitting. So <laughs> this is your situation right now, uh, the Eight of Swords. So if you can see here, he is lost in the woods. He is surrounded by worries, fears, and anxieties. Um, he can't see his way out of this situation. He is essentially tied to this tree. I don't know if you can see that, but he's essentially tied to that tree. And uh, he feels kind of bound. Um, this is being trapped or feeling trapped or feeling like there's no way out or um, feeling like you don't know what to do about something. So um, that's a really difficult place to be in. What's blocking you is the Knave of Swords. So this can be delayed messages. This can also be a person around you who has very, um, very impulsive energy, somebody who's, you know, speaks without thinking um, and says maybe hurtful things um, or uh, things they don't realize are um, upsetting you. Somebody who acts without thinking, so does something that has um, unintended consequences. This can be you and your energy. Maybe you have done something that has had unintended consequences and um, it's really kind of blocking you. Now this is um, really a, a point where you need to take small steps in order to get yourself out of this situation. Um, you really need to take the blindfold off. And in the advice portion, we have the moon, which is an absolutely beautiful card. I love this card. So with the moon, you need to take a deeper look at the situation. Not everything is as it, is as it appears. So the moon casts shadows. Um, so it doesn't have enough light to fully illuminate everything. So you really need to take a closer look to see how everything really is. Um, you know, you really need to examine your current situation, whatever it is that has you feeling this way. And, uh, you know, feeling stuck, feeling helpless, feeling like you don't know what to do, you can't get yourself out of the situation. Um, you need to really um, examine this situation. And with the Nine of Wands, um, don't give up. That's very important. So you don't want to give up at this point because the Nine of Wands basically means you're close to your goal. We have the Knave of Wands in the outcome position. And the Knave of Wands is rapidly incoming messages. So this can pertain to work, things that you're passionate about. Um, this can be something that's really creative. So um, really, these are rapid messages. It's almost like he is carrying a torch, like an Olympic runner in this, in this depiction. 
and um, really there might be something um, if you take a deeper look and um, you know you you communicate um, especially with with the knaves they're about communication um, and carrying communication so definitely there's something that needs to be communicated here uh, we have the Knave of Swords too, so this could be um, Mercury retrograde as well, with um, potentially delayed communication, and then needing to to have some rapidly incoming communications. So that's entirely possible as well for some of you. And um, we have the Moon. So you just need to, to double check things. You need to look look twice, especially with Mercury re retrograde, with any communications, um, anything of that nature. You need to, to double check everything. Um, and it can be about misconceptions. So, you know, taking a deeper look at the situation and really um, taking the time to, to talk about it um, is going to be helpful in the fact that it can dispel any miscommunications that have occurred. Let's take a look. Oh, that's the second time that's happened to me today. All right, Irene, peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So that's really lovely, especially with the Eight of Swords here and the Nine of Wands, because those can be kind of really heavy energies and really worrisome energies. So Irene is here to say that there's no need to worry and everything is working out beautifully. So I'm just going to read you her excerpt here. Message from Irene. Even though appearances may seem chaotic, I assure you that a higher plan is in action. This all-loving power is carrying and supporting you completely. Relax into the arms of divine love and breathe away all cares, concerns, and worries. Put your focus into enjoying and appreciating each blessing. Your gratitude helps you attract even more blessings into your life. So this is give your cares and worries to heaven. Pray, meditate, Engage in peace-enhancing activities such as yoga, sea salt baths, massage, naps, music, playfulness, and the like. A Greek goddess whose sisters include goddesses of lawfulness and justice, Irene brings peacefulness to all who call upon her. The Romans referred to her as Pax, which means peace. Irene helps us replace worry with faith. She also reminds us to retain our childlike awe and enthusiasm for life. All right. Thank you so much, Libra, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.